yummy. Hey everybody, come on in. It's so nice to see you. Oh, I was just finishing up a little snack. Do you know what kind of snack I'm having? Well, I'll give you a couple hints. It grows on a tree. It can have a skin that can be red, yellow, or green, and it's super delicious. Do you know what it is? That's it, it's an apple. Apples are the perfect snack, I think. Do you like apples? Yeah? Our friend Sebastian from New York says his favorite is green apples. And Penny from Utah loves red apples. Huh. Lachlan and Louise from Utah like red apples too. Mayu from Colombia says, I'm obsessed with green apples. You must really love those green apples. Max loves Honeycrisp apples along with Jake, Lexi, and Jackson. A lot of our friends seem to like Honeycrisp apples. Asher from Regina loves red apples with cinnamon. Hmm. You know, I really like to have apple slices with some cheese. That's my favorite kind of snack. Penelope says, oh, just says my favorite. Apples are my favorite. Isabella loves red apples. They're so delicious. Roxanne loves golden apples. Mmm. Well, today in the classroom, it's all about apples. And I'm really excited that you're all here to play with me today because you are the apple of my eye, which is a fun expression to say you're pretty special. So let's wave a big hello to all of our friends out there. I'm so glad you're here to hang out with us today. Madeline likes gala apples and Miriam loves pink apples. Wow. All right. Let's sing a big hello to all our friends, everyone. We'll wave and sing all together. When I sing, my name is Katie, you can sing, my name is, and shout it nice and loud. Let me know what your name is. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie, my name is... What's your name? Shout it out nice and loud. Nice to meet you. All right, let's wave hello to some of our friends. Hello, hello, hello to Keith, Mason, and Dane. Hello. Hello, hello to Piper and Emma. My name is Katie. What's your name? I see Leo and Joy and Natalie and Abner. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. A big hello to all of our friends watching. Jack from Missouri. Hello to Drake and Kevin in Scotland, shouting out their names really loud. Welcome. Let's take a closer look at some of the apples I have in the classroom here. Hmm, let's see. What do you notice about these apples, everybody? Are they different or are they the same? Well, they're all apples, but they're different colors, aren't they? Yeah, what colors do you see? This one is green. This one is red, that's it. And this one is yellow. Green, red, and yellow. All different colors. Apples can be green, red, or yellow. And sometimes they have different tastes too. Sometimes they might be a little sour or tart and you can make a face like this when something sour. But most apples are really sweet mm, and delicious. Yeah. So all these apples are different colors. They might taste different, but they're all equally delicious. But the big question is, which one of these apples is the fastest? Hmm. I'm just kidding. Apples aren't fast or slow, but we can pretend with an apple race. Check this out. We've got our apple race track. The red, green, and yellow apple will race towards the finish line. That's the basket. I'm going to push the button 
and we'll look to the window and whatever apple we see in the window will move one step closer to the basket. Which one do you think will win? The red, green, or yellow apple? Hmm. Let me know what apple you think will win. And we're gonna wish good luck to all of the apples. Let's say good luck apples on the count of three. Okay, one, two, three. Good luck apples. Okay, let's say are you marks get set go and the apples will be on their way. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, what apple will be the winner? I can't wait to find out. A red apple. Red is on the way. So we'll put a red apple down there. It's making its way to the finish line. What will be next? Let's see. Okay, Penelope says it's going to be green because green means go. And a green apple is on its way now too. Okay, let's keep going. What will it be? So exciting. Go apples, go! Go apples! A red apple! Okay, another red apple. Look at this. The red apple has a big head start. Yellow has a lot of catching up to do. Go apples, go! What will it be? <laughs> Arjun and Camilla thinks it's gonna be the yellow apple. A yellow apple is now on the way. Here we go. Yellow is in the race. Keep going, you can do it. Come on apples, cheer for your favorite apple. Go apples, go! A green apple, okay. Uh-oh, look at this. Green and red are tied. What will be next? Almost there. Keep going. Abner's shouting for the red apple. Rowan says yellow, go yellow. A yellow apple, okay. Oh, look at this. It's any apple's race. We have a tie. Whichever one comes next, we'll go to the finish line. Sasha says it's gonna be red. Camilla says yellow. Evie and Charlotte say green. Let's find out. Here we go. Go Apple, go. Go Apples, go. Go, go, go. What will it be? Yellow. The yellow apple won. Look, one, two, three. Hooray. <laughs> Who guessed the yellow apple? Keep Mason and Dane say yellow for sure. And for us said yellow. Great guessing, everybody. You can try playing this apple race game at home too. We're gonna be having it up on our website, so check back later today. You can download it, print it out, and maybe a different apple will win when you play it. It could be the red apple, it could be the green apple, it could be the yellow apple, who knows? Let us know what apple won your race when you play. On Instagram, you can share your photos of the winning apple with the hashtag Katie's Classroom. That was such a fun game, playing all these apples Apples can be really fast. It was fun. And singing is also fun too. So let's sing a song together. Let's do it. <laughs> Abner says, oh no. <laughs> well, they can always try again. They always have a rematch. All right, everyone, let's sing a song about apples. How about that? Let's sing apples and bananas. This song's a pretty silly song. It can get a little tricky. But let's get up on our feet and we can sing and dance together. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. This is one of Mikey's favorite songs. Okay, let's try an E sound. Eat eeples and bananas. Can you give that a try? Sing it with me. I like to eat, eat, eat eeples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat eeples and bananas. I like to eat, eat. Eeples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 eeples and bananas. That's silly. Let's try an A 
sound. Eight apples and bananas. <laughs> I like to eight, eight, eight apples and bananas. I like to eight, eight, eight apples and bananas. I like to eight, eight, eight apples and bananas. I like to eight, eight, eight apples and bananas. That's one of my favorites, bananas. Nice dancing, Eleanor. I'm glad you're dancing and singing along. Okay, how about we do an I sound? Eyeballs and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. Jaden's eating an apple right now. Delicious. All right, Sebastian likes the O sound. Let's try oat, opals, and bonobos. I like to oat, 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 opals and bonobos. I like to oat, 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 opals and bonobos. I like to oat, 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 opals and bonobos. I like to oat. Oats, oats, opals, and bonobos. Bonobos. That's so silly. Let's try an oo sound. So we'll say oot, oopals, and bonoonoos. That's so silly. I like to oot, 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 oopals, and bonoonoos. I like to oot, 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 oopals, and bonoonoos. Fun too, but new news. Yeah. Let's sing Eat Apples and Bananas. The proper way to say it one more time. We can sing it all together. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Nice job, everyone. Give yourselves a big clap. Hooray. So glad that you're all singing along. I hear that Roxy's just laughing. It's a really funny and silly song, isn't it? It kind of makes my mouth feel all rubbery doing all those different sounds. Oot and eat and at. Woo, doesn't it? Eat apples and bananas and bananas. It's really silly. Well, I sure do like to eat apples. No, wait. Um, I like to oot ooples. Uh, hold on. I got to get it right. Um, got to get it back to normal. Got to oot ooples. Eight apples. Is that it? I like to eat Apples! That's it. That's true. I like to eat apples a lot. Ravia and Handy like to eat apples and bananas too. I'm so glad that you had fun singing that song. It's really silly. I like to eat my apples chopped up in slices. Yeah. Have you ever seen the inside of an apple? If you cut an apple right down the middle and look inside, you can see all of the apple seeds. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. It looks like this. Put this away. Ta da! Wait a minute, hold on. This is the inside of an apple, but there's no apple seeds. Hmm. An apple always has apple seeds inside. Well, we'll have to put some apple seeds in ourselves. I have some pretend apple seeds here. 
these are some almonds that we can use as apple seeds. And we'll find out how many we should put in by rolling this big dice. Should we give it a try? Yeah, it'll be a fun game. All right, let's roll the dice and we'll see how many apple seeds we'll put in our apple. Here it comes. Look at that, six. Let's count six seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six seeds, there it is. Winry said it's missing seeds. It is, now we get to play this fun game. Let's roll a dice again and see what it'll be. There we go, some big dice. Woof! That's one. Just one little seed. Here we go. One, one seed right in the middle of our apple. Let's roll it again. Try it again. Here it comes. Oh, that was one again. Let's try again. <laughs> we want to get a different number. How about this one? Four. Let's count four seeds. One, two, three, four. Look at that. It's like a little perfect square. Kira Rose said four, that was a good idea. Let's roll one more time. Give a big roll. How many seeds will it be now? Five, five seeds. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five seeds in our apple. Nice job, Roxy's counting along. Really nice. Now, we never want to eat an apple seed. That's really important. But you can try to plant it in the ground and maybe it will grow into a big apple tree, like this one. I'll show you this picture of a big apple tree. I have, ta-da! Hold on. Now what's going on? There's no apples in our apple tree. Oh no. There's always supposed to be apples in an apple tree. How about we add some of our own apples? I got some red pom-poms here. Let's add them in. How many apples should I add into my apple tree, everybody? Azriel and Fares say five. Okay, let's count five apples. One, two, three, four, five. Five apples. They look so nice. How many more should we put on? What do you think? Uh, Evie says five too because she's five years old. That's a great idea. Oh my goodness, Keith and Mason and Dane say 200 apples. I don't know if I have 200 pom-poms. We'd be here for a while. <laughs> Let's see. Asriel says, yeah, they're in the little basket. How about six apples? Let's give that a try. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six apples. Melanie said six apples. That's it. How many more now? Penelope and Kira Rose say eight apples. That's a lot. Let's count eight apples, everybody. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Riley says eight too. Is eight your favorite number, Riley? Camilla and Carlos say eight. Ooh, Raven says nine. We just have to add one more to have nine. Let's try that. We have eight already, so that's nine. Nine apples in our tree. Josiah says 10. Hmm, well, 10 is just one more than nine. Let's add one more. We have nine. Now we have 10. There it is. Let's try one more. Elijah and Evan from Florida like 10 too. Penelope says it's so pretty. It's such a pretty tree. How about 
three. Coulson says three because he is three years old. Let's add in three apples. One, two, three. Look at that. It looks like our apple tree is smiling. Looks like two eyes and a nose and a smile. It's a beautiful tree. Emma says 20 apples. Okay, let's see if we can get all the apples on here. See how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One fell down. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. They're falling off. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. That is a lot of apples in our apple tree. Good idea, Emma, 20 apples. It is so pretty, our apple tree. You know, I saw a lot of big apple trees just like this when I went to visit an apple orchard. I visited the apple orchard in Hamilton, Ontario, and they had so many different kinds of apples and so many apples in their apple tree. I think they had even more than 20 in some of their trees. And there was so many fun things to see and do. Let's take a quick look at my field trip to the apple orchard. Let's go. We're here at the Apple Orchard in Hamilton, Ontario. It's a beautiful day. I'm so excited to go look around and pick some apples. Let's go. To the orchard. We're going the right way. Look. <laughs> this place is so fun. These are the apples that they have for picking today. Honey Crisp, Gala, Ginger Gold, mm, Royal Court, Cortland, and Max. Let's find these apples in the orchard. Come on. A wagon and a tractor. Let's go for a wagon ride. Portland apples. That was on the sign, so we can pick these. Let's go try them. Ooh, here's a nice Cortland. Cortland apples are juicy and a little bit tart. Let's try it. Really good. <laughs> Imperial Gala. These apples look amazing. Ooh. Let's pick some of these red apples. Twist and pull. One, two, three, oh, got some leaves, four, five. Let's find some yellow apples. Ooh, ginger gold. I'm excited to try these ones. Sounds delicious. Here's a good one. A great way to pick an apple is to twist and gently pull. Mm. Mm. 
This tastes so fresh. It's really good. It's really heavy. I think that's great. Ooh. Whew. Look at all the apples I got. I can't wait to take them home and eat them. to our friends at the Apple Orchard in Hamilton, Ontario, and to farmer Lucas for showing us around the orchard and for teaching us all about those different apples. They were really delicious and it's such a beautiful farm, isn't it? Ellie said that she went to an apple orchard two times this past weekend. It is always so much fun to visit the apple orchard. Roxy gets to pick apples at grandpa's house and Keith and Mason and Dane's great grandparents owned an apple orchard, just like our friend's apple orchard. Evie says she's never seen yellow apples before. You know, I hadn't really seen a yellow apple either, but those ginger gold apples, they were that beautiful golden yellow color and they were so delicious. Mikey loves to eat all the red apples. Charles Francis says the ginger gold looks so yummy. It really was. I think that might have been my favorite apple. And I took all those apples home, and with some of them, I made them into a yummy apple pie. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We have some recipes on our website for delicious pinwheels that you can make with apples. So you can bake them. There's the recipe below. You can click on the link and try it out at home. But there's lots of things that you can do with an apple. If you have any leftover that maybe you don't want to eat, you can make it into a stamp, look at that. A stamp is a really fun way to use any leftover apples. And you can make stamps out of a bunch of different things that you have around the house. I'll show you. Take a look at these stamps we made. We have an apple, a cork. We cut out an apple out of some fun foam and put it on an old block. This one, is a pipe cleaner in a shape of an apple put on an old cleaned out yogurt container. This one's a sponge that we put on an old jar. Got another sponge and then look at this one. This is just pom-poms with a clothespin. That'll be a great stamp. Let's put some apples on this apple tree with our stamps. I have some different color paint here that I put on some sponges to make our own stamp pad. Our yellow apples. We're gonna make some yellow apples, Evie. Green and red. Let's give it a try. Let's start, let's try the apple one, the real apple one. Let's do a red one. Put some red paint on our apple, get it all covered. It's gonna look just like an apple on our tree. Here we go. Push down hard. Let's see. Ta-da! Oh, I think we need some more paint on our stamps. Here we go. Get more red paint. Lots more red paint for our stamps. All right, let's try again. Get some more stamps on there. <laughs> Lachlan wants the red stamp. There we go. Let's try again. Stamp it down. Wiggle it all around. Let's take a look. Whoa! Apple stamps! Mikey likes the red one too. <laughs> it's so fun to hear that some of you are eating apples while you're watching the show. That's so great. Let's put another one over here. Big red apples, yummy. I'd like to give a special shout out to our friend Josiah. I just saw a video of Josiah trying to give me an apple. Here's an apple for you, Josiah. Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Let's make one more big red apple. Put it over here. 
here, right on this branch. Yeah. Let's try that. Oh, we're running out of paint on our apple. Stamp, 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 stamp. Stamp, stamp, stamp. There we go. All right, look at that. Let's try some of these other stamps. How about the cork? Ravia says, a yellow apple. Get some yellow paint on our stamp. Here we go. Yellow apple! Yay, Zane says yellow apple too. This is a special apple tree. It's growing all different kinds of apples. All different colors. Oh no! <laughs> stamps can sometimes be pretty messy. You know, stamps are a lot of fun. Sometimes I like them even better than a paintbrush. And sometimes they're even easier to use if you have little hands. How about we try these pom-poms? Yeah, let's use this green, green paint on our stamp. Azriel and Kira Rose ask for green. There we go, stamp. Oh, I like this one. This one's really fun, like a big paintbrush. You can try out all these different stamps at home. We have all these stamps on our blog post. There's the link below. You can check them out and try out all these different kinds of stamps at home. How about this one? This is one we made out of a sponge. Cut out an apple shape and put it on an old um, lid of a jar. How about some more yellow apples? Put our paint on our stamp there. Here we go, stamp down. Look at that! That's a big one. Lots of apples all over. Keith, Mason, and Dane want all the colors for one apple. Ooh. We can try that. How about we try it with this sponge? Do a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, a little bit of red. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's mostly red. <laughs> If we mix all the colors together, it'll make brown. How about we try this one with this pipe cleaner? I think we're gonna need a little bit more paint. Some more paint on our stamp pads. There we go. This is a big apple tree, lots of different apples. Let's do some green ones. Now sometimes apples fall off of the tree and maybe they'd be down here on the ground. Let's try an apple down here. Jesus! This apple fell off the tree. There we go. How about this stamp? We haven't done this one yet. This has been cut out of fun foam. Let's do some red apples on the ground. Victoria and Sophia say they're gonna go get some apples at the market. That's a great idea. I'd love to see what you do with your apples. Look at that stamp. That's a beautiful one. That worked out perfectly. Stamps are so fun. How about one more big stamp with our big apple? Get lots of paint on there. There we go. We'll put it right down here, here at the, at the bottom. I'm running out of room. <laughs> Right here, we'll do one more big stamp. It'll be falling from the tree. Ta da! Look at that. It's really neat using an apple as a stamp. Our beautiful apple tree filled with all different kinds of apples. If you try any of these stamps at home, I'd love to see what you make. So make sure to share your art creations on Instagram and you can use the hashtag Katie's Classroom so I can take a look. I'd love to see what you're up to at home. Let's take a look at a photo of our friends watching the show from last week. Let's see. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> Here it is. These are our friends Camilla and Carlos. They're from Dubai. They are longtime friends of us here in the classroom. They're watching the construction episode from last week, playing along with their construction trucks, looking super excited. <laughs> I was really excited to see that photo. Thank you so much for sharing it. And if you share your photos, maybe we'll show them on next week's episode. It's been a lot of fun 
hanging out with you today in the classroom, playing with apples. Thank you so much for all your apple fun, giving an apple and eating apples and slicing apples with Play-Doh while you're watching. It's really neat to hear all these things because apples are so delicious and wholesome and lovely, aren't they? Yes. Well, let's wave a big goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to say farewell. And we'll see you next week for more fun in the classroom. Can you wave your hands? We'll give a big wave goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to the Daenerys from Peru, the Daenerys family, and Chloe from Trinidad, Piper and Emma and Leo and Joy. Goodbye to Xavier from Pakistan. Goodbye to Camilla. Goodbye, Tristan and Ellie, watching with Grandma, Rabia, and Arel and Asaf. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Hello from Nepal. Goodbye to Melanie, Amy, Aaron, and Kyla. Goodbye to Keith Mason and Dane. I'll miss you too. See you next week. Goodbye to Fres from, from Morocco. Goodbye to Lachlan and Lewis. Goodbye to Eleanor, happy apple picking. Goodbye to Garrison from Kentucky. Charlie, Oliver, and Isabella, and Jaden from Taiwan. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Miriam from Saudi Arabia, our friend Mikey. Goodbye to Valentina from Northern Asia. Goodbye to Marcuccio from Mexico, Martin, and Jock went, or I, it went too fast. I'm sorry, I don't know where it was from. <laughs> oh, from New Jersey. There we go. Goodbye to Min from Vietnam. Goodbye to Thea from Winnipeg. And Sasha from Vancouver. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Yasmin from Brazil. And Kashav and Ellie. Thomas from Connecticut and Luke from Arizona. Noor from Egypt. Lila, Lila? Lila, Lucy, Caleb, and Erla from Wisconsin. I hope I said your names right. Goodbye to Rabia from Turkey and Owen and Zoe from New York. Goodbye to Jan Noor from Nepal and Varnas from Hungary. And a big happy birthday to Mikey, whose birthday is gonna be next week. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Arjun from California and Brennan from Canada. Goodbye to Emma from Costa Rica and Melody from Ontario. Goodbye to the Gamera brothers. Thanks for watching. Goodbye to Riley and Lance. Goodbye to Minji from Arizona. Goodbye to Kelby and Isaac. Goodbye to Ferris from Peru. Goodbye to Ronan from New, uh, Missouri. And we'll see you next week, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. I had a lot of fun with you today. <laughs>